Ryan here, Cisco there. Welcome to IGN. The future of automotive technology is uh, about to be laid before us with the dawn of another CES, CES 2017. Gonna Cisco, yeah, there's uh, a lot. To used to be, way back in the day, video games were actually at CES. Now, it's evolved cars. into cars. TV, What's going everything. on with, yeah, TV. What's going on with cars uh, at CES? There, there's a lot of things changing. Um, 2016, like, there's, you know, among self-driving cars, all the technology coming out. Faraday Future has been making big headlines. This is like the first real standalone electric car making competitor to Tesla. Yeah, they've been they've been uh, really hyping themselves up a lot saying they're going to re fully reveal their first production car. They've been putting yeah. teasers out of of it. Oh, it's faster than a than a P100D Ludicrous Model X. You know, it's also going to be self-driving. They put it up against like a Ferrari. Uh, their their old models, like they yeah. were in Formula E. They made a concept car that was like super. Yeah, fast. La last year's CES, they kind of uh, landed with a big thud after their yeah. big reveal of the future of of uh, transport was a a concept supercar that wouldn't even be street legal. Yeah. So, but this year they claim to be coming with uh, with something for real. So hopefully uh, we'll see something there. Heads up displays. Those are the big new technology working their way into cars coming up. Yeah, uh, BMW, I've seen, like personally, seen some HUDs in like BMW models, uh, but they were just like tiny little spaces right above where the driver has yeah. his hands so that you can look down a little bit, but it was still sort of like a dashboard. Now people are like really investing, like we might see a lot of information on the windscreen, which I don't know how I feel about. See, I like a dashboard. I do too, but it, it would be great to not have to take your eyes off the road yeah, at all. If, if all the information you need is right there. Of course, Tesla with their, uh, as far as I know, they're not at CES this year, which they have been in years past, but they are hard at work on the Model 3, which has yeah. upwards of 400 thousand reservations. I've got one of them do you? Uh, for the Model 3 and that That's car like is... That's like the sheet, like the mid-level yep. sedan That is That car. is the mass market uh, electric yeah. car, $35,000 uh, with a over a 200 mile range with uh, and it's it's almost as big as the Model S. It's a it's a big, you know, it's a good sized car and that car has been heavily heavily rumored to have a HUD element because yeah. it has no instrument cluster really? in front of the driver at least in the prototypes that have been shown. So uh, there is there is just a lot uh, uh, and those cars they also come with the Tesla autopilot feature. So every which Tesla is a big already, deal this year also. Yeah, every Model 3 and every Tesla shipping now comes fully equipped with all the hardware, all the cameras and sensors and radar needed for full self-driving once they are ready to flip yeah. that switch on the software side and the, they get the thumbs up from the government. So yeah, self-driving is like, that's I think going to be the biggest thing at CES for the auto industry. Yes. Um, Hyundai is bringing something, Chevy or uh, BMW, just basically every big. Everybody's got something. Michigan passed a law wants, recently yeah. uh, approving the sale of autonomous vehicles within the fully autonomous vehicles. I also read somewhere even Nvidia is playing with their own. Yeah, self they're, thing. they're supposed to be getting something um, ready. And yeah, they're all like Las Vegas is a great proving ground. Uh, big streets, a lot of, fairly easy to drive. And uh, city. deserts in the middle of nowhere to go to go test things yeah, out so you, too. Not a lot to crash into aside from the <laughs> casino and convention center. Um, um, yeah, everyone's going to be bringing something. This is like the year where I think we're going to see the normalization of self-driving cars. I saw yeah. a self-driving Uber on the road the other day. Uh, yeah, our own James Faulkner rode in one. There's a video about it on IGN. And yeah, it's it's going to be fascinating to watch. We're going to have to change the name of CES from the Consumer Electronics Show to the Car Electronics Show. Because that's how much car stuff is going on at CES. We're going to be covering CES 2017. The entire show, top to bottom, back to front, across all of Las Vegas and pumping it onto the internet for your information and enjoyment. So for all of that coverage and more, keep it tuned right here to IGN.